Welcome back or welcome to my channel and to this series. This is the third and final video in the series where I go to Slovakia to explore and promote the area. Here's a little summary from until now, but go watch the videos if you want to. <laughs> This is a really nice place to take a shower. I'll tell you that much. Because you can look out at the same time and almost see the mountains. So everyone else almost is doing a Via Ferrata right now, which I chose to skip. I got like enough yesterday. They said yesterday was easier than it's gonna be today and it was gonna be rainy and I'm just not really an endurance kind of person. I like to push myself, but yesterday that was pushing it for myself, <laughs> definitely. I sit down most of the time, I'm a student. I don't seek out adventure, I'm not a hiker. Um, I li really like being out in nature and I thought yesterday was exhilarating. I really liked it. Um, but yeah, I chose to stay home today. I thought it was going to be too much for me, honestly, two days in a row. Also, I got to bed pretty late. I was talking to the others, which was really nice. Um, and then I was just journaling and listening to music and I think I'm going to make a cup of tea and then drink that with, with this. Uh, I brought home some dessert from our restaurant last night because I realized that if I wanted a chance to have like a more slow morning uh, um, and a different kind of breakfast that I've had the other days, uh, maybe I should bring some home with me. So I'm having apple pie for breakfast um, with a cup of Earl Grey. Today's a lot colder. I really, really genuinely enjoy that. These days it's been so warm that if it was the same temperature at home, I would just avoid being outside. Or I would seek the shadows, or I would be outside in the morning, in the afternoon, but not during the middle of the day, and that's when we've been out uh, in direct sunlight, so... I'm really glad I packed clothes that like covered all my skin, so I didn't have to reapply sunscreen all the time. I've gotten Teva tan lines on my feet even though I put sunscreen on uh, and I'm really glad I brought my cap because it's helped keep the sun out of my face a lot. Generally we've just been um, having a really full schedule and everyone feels that way. I'm happy to have some slow time here now and then we're going to a water park later. I don't really understand that but I'm excited to go and we're going to a vegetarian vegan place uh, to eat dinner which I'm really looking forward to because even though everyone has been really really sweet and I've gotten a lot of help with translating and communicating with all the restaurants and all the places have uh, done their best work to get me some food and the whole team has been really nice about making sure I ate uh, I really hope that there's some protein in the meal tonight because I've basically not gotten any this whole trip. I'm getting <laughs> endurance training on like hunger and input and heat, <laughs> being out in the sun and cultural differences when communicating, a lot of things. It's like a really big immersive experience and I'm going to take so much home from it and I, I'm so overwhelmed right now. I'm really looking forward to going home actually. Um, but that's also why I went, you know, I wanted to feel that urgency to go home in a way. Um, I was talking to Linda about this last night, we share a hotel room. If you are away from home, you become aware of home in a different way. They have a little like tea making station, so I'm gonna go make some tea now.
After the tea and cake for breakfast, I went back to where we ate dinner to borrow some Wi-Fi for transferring a file, since I had to wait for the others anyways. It was raining, which I was happy for in a way, so I didn't bring my raincoat for nothing. It was really warm and difficult to bring with me, so to at least use it made it feel a little bit more worth it. I also just enjoyed the rain, all the smells it brings out, the serene sounds and views of drops on leaves, on streams and everywhere. I found some vegan dumplings at a tourist spot for a quick bite of food before we left for Paprat. We went to the charming old part of Poprad to eat at the vegan vegetarian restaurant I mentioned earlier called La Hot Nosti. I hope I'm pronouncing it right, otherwise the name should also be on screen. They create food with seasonal and local ingredients aiming for plant-based and waste reduction. The five meal course was so delicious I don't think I could choose a favorite. Everyone said I must be enjoying myself there and I really truly was. I would recommend going to La Hotnosti if you're anywhere near Potvat. We sadly also said goodbye to Noro, who had to leave the program early. I'm missing you. Bye-bye. <laughs> the following day we had almost no collective program, so Michal and Lucia invited me to join them on a trip to the Tatra Mountains. Yeah. To this uh, touristy spot with a lake. It was really nice to spend a day with them and we took many touristy pictures, it was very fun. I will also say that though the nature was very gorgeous and it was nice to sail on the lake, I found the environment of the tourists very overwhelming after spending time in the Slovak Paradise National Park, where less tourists go. It's a way more quiet and authentic experience without neon-clad hikers obscuring every view and kids screaming and souvenir booths peddling imported items. It felt like seeing the other side of the coin, only 30 minutes or so away from everything that we had been shown, which I think put the focus on local and sustainable business into context for me. On the final day, we were shown an ice cave in the park, which is part of a larger cave system there. It completely felt like being on a different planet, wearing these many layers which I packed for a warm climate. Uh, the shapes and colors and acoustics of the place was very alien. It was off-putting in a way and fascinating and I really enjoyed it. It was a very, very unique experience. One of the most important ice caves in the world. It has one of the largest amounts of parks with aesthetic and scientific value. 
and for this reason it is protected by law as a national natural monument. Since 2000, it has been described in the world's cultural and natural heritage list of UNESCO within the framework of Slovak and Agtelec cars. The entrance to the cave was known by shepherds and hunters from long ago. They called it the ice hole. They used it in the summer to cool down, but no one dared to enter the cave. The beautiful spring decoration disappears very fast, only to be replaced by something even more beautiful than the Going outside again afterwards and being hit by the wall of warm air, the smells of the forest, the buzzing life of insects and flowers and moss, felt like such a jarring contrast. Within minutes to have such different climates in such close proximity, I was really happy to experience this ice cave. We then had a little break before the final festival of the trip. So I went with Michal and Lucia again to the forest near the meadows we spent the first day at and relaxed for a little bit. Then we went to the festival, where Lehadnosti had a booth, they gifted me an amazing, smoky, complex soup which I greatly enjoyed. There was also a booth with a woman who makes and sells traditional clothes, who we met earlier on the week, and she gifted me a cloth heart and a traditionally dyed fabric pit. On the scene at the festival, different countries' wedding traditions were played out for us, including Georgian, Ukrainian, and Slovakian. I honestly can't tell you that much about it because none of what happened was translated, so I, I zoned out a little thinking of how I had to leave early the next morning for Krakow. We all went up to sit in the shadows, the sun was beaming down hard, but a lot of the audience was very loyal and sat in the direct sun for hours on end, watching and listening. I also walked around a little, kind of saying goodbye to Vernar, to the mountains, the sun filtering through the firs to Slovakia in general, this strange and different place I had now spent a little chunk of time in. It was weird to say goodbye. The last day I got a taxi thanks to Lucia helping with calling and translating the night before. The taxi got me to Paprad where I got on a bus with a small layover in a different town which then headed to Krakow. I misunderstood the dates at first and thought that the bus and the plane ride were on the same day but I had a night in Krakow, hence the cliffhanger in the first video. I returned to the hostel. We're back. It's back where it all started. It's really warm today. I'm gonna check in. I'm gonna put on my sunscreen. I'm gonna put on my sandals. And I'm gonna go find some lunch.
it was 32 degrees. But I still spent some time exploring the city. They have very great and cheap vegan food options. I was very happy and impressed with that. Walking home with my food like it's a baby. Nice sounds. It was scary with the thunderstorm a little bit. It was quite hard to fall asleep in a 25 degree muggy room where opening the window made it even warmer, I'll say that much, but I did manage to sleep some. It is a new day, I'm just wearing the same clothes because I can't be bothered and I am so sweaty and I've gotten a lot of stains on it and I don't want to sweat in and stain more clothes. And it's linen, so it's light for the weather. Okay. There was a thunderstorm which delayed the flights, so the airport was stuffed with people. And we had to wait a long time before we finally got on the plane. One, one, zero, four. We kindly ask also passengers the chancer flight LH13. They took us there by bus on a very short ride, which we all waited in for maybe 20 minutes without any information. It was all fine though. I kind of just zoned out and listened to an audiobook and some music. Luckily, I had booked a train ticket with some time to spare, which meant I just caught it after running into a store and grabbing a wrap for dinner in the airport. And then I could lean back and look out at my well-known landscapes all the way home. And look, there was even a rainbow. It 
was so satisfying and nice to be home again. I was full of joy. Here's some of what I brought home. The cloth heart, beeswax candle, gas station snack, souvenir socks for Thomas, and a whole new experience. Okay, that was all for this series. Now back to our regular programming. Thank you for watching, remember to subscribe, and I love to hear comments from everyone, so I'd love to hear from you. Have you ever been to Slovakia or Poland? I know that some of my followers are Russian, so shout out to you guys. Have you ever been to Slovakia? Or do you want to now? <laughs> I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video.